today I'm actually going to be showing you how to put a flagpole on a truck. Um, I've never actually done, well, okay, I've done it with a really crappy pole uh, and it's falling and that's why I'm doing this video because I looked up some videos last night on how to put a flagpole on my truck and now while I do it, I'm going to make a video. So don't expect it to be completely perfect. I've never really done this before. Uh, so I wouldn't know exactly how well it's going to go. Um, first, I'm going to show you the pieces that you're going to need. Um, right here, I've got a, this is a copper pipe. Um, I, just, I just went into Home Depot and started bending it and it seems very sturdy for how fast my truck goes sometimes. I mean, if I'm going on the highway and I have my flag up, um, I feel like, I don't know exactly, but I feel like this copper pipe is going to hold it very, very sturdily. Um, some people use PVC, but I feel like that just bends too much. That's that's my personal experience with PVC. Um, you're gonna need zip ties. I just bought tiny little. I mean, a 27 centimeter. I mean, 11 inch. I I just think. I mean, they're just zip ties. They don't need to be super strong. Um, I'm gonna place those. Oops, I went out of frame. Um, zip ties right there. Um, hose clamps. Uh, also just bought these from Home Depot. Um, I don't know how big they are. Um, basically, just when you buy your copper pipe, just take some hose clamps and try to fit them around. If they fit around, um, here, I'll show you. Um, if they fit around nice and loose like this, um, then that means you could probably tighten it up to the uh, the exact tightness. But I've not, I've not actually tried tightening it up yet. So uh, I guess I'm going to find that out. Um, so hose clamps to whatever size pole you choose. Um, mine, I believe, is a three. Let me look at the receipt. Um, mine is a three-quarter inch by five foot copper pipe. Um, right there on the top, three-quarter inch by five foot type M copper pipe. Um, oh, I bought some duct tape. Oh, uh, that's another thing. Uh, so there's the clamps. I bought some duct tape. Um, this isn't a necessity. But I just bought it because I'm a little skeptical, so I'm just going to leave the duct tape on there. Or uh, I'm not going to put the duct tape on there, actually. And I'm going to see how sturdy it is. And if so, I'll put this duct tape on there. That's why I bought Heavy Duty, um, although I doubt that actually makes a difference. Um, and these. These are, uh, I asked at Home Depot what would be best to just screw into my truck. And sheet metal. These ones are self-tapping, so it's got a little drill bit on it. Um, it does not have a... Uh, Phillips or a flathead top. It's like a normal bolt or whatever. So I just, uh, I, I, as you can see, I opened it already. Um, I opened it up and measured, and it's about a three, three eighths bit on my drill. Um, so that's just, I mean, that's gonna be perfectly fine. Um, I got, he said, the bigger the number, the thicker. So I got these number 14s. They're a little thicker, so. Um, it just makes me feel a little safer. It doesn't matter how long it is because, you know, the metal in your truck is only going to be about, you know, that thin and then it goes into nothing else after that. So length has nothing to do with how sturdy it would be. Um, yeah, number 14, three quarter inch. Uh, that's just what I got. Um, so, yeah, those are the pieces that you're going to need. Okay, and here's the tools you're going to need. Um, I've got my drill right there, you can see. Um, I've got my tool set for the uh, bolts that I'm going to be putting in. Like I said, I measured it, and the ones that I got are going to be this. This, uh, there it is, in the frame, this 3 8 bit. Um, if it would focus, I mean, I'm sure you guys can look in your toolbox and see the label that says 3 8 and pick that bit out. Um, so you're going to need that bit. You're going to need a Sharpie to... Uh, mark the pole because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes in the pole, use those zip ties and uh, put it through the, the metal rings on my flag and you know zip tie it on there um, and safety goggles. I'm not wearing these because I wear glasses personally um, and honestly I don't think it's a necessity you're just drilling tiny little screws in your truck but I'm just putting this in the video um, just you know Safety, everybody. Be safe. Oh, okay, so now what I'm going to do, I was going to take a tape measurer and measure the length between the rivets, I think is what they're called. And like I said, I've already tried making a flagpole. I just bought this. 
I think it's a really crappy uh, aluminum pull, although I didn't know it was going to be that crappy. Uh, I mean, I even have a bungee cord to keep it from going yeah. completely like that. So, maybe that still does apparently. Um, so, that's why I bought this copper pipe. Um, so, I'm just going to measure. It should be somewhere like uh, 34, 32 inches. I don't know. But I'm just going to take my Sharpie. I'm going to put it, put the pole up there. And just measure where the rivets are. And then right there. And right there. I mean, a rough estimate. I'm sure you, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. Um, so, yeah, there's that part. Okay, now I'm drilling the holes for the the zip ties to go into to put the flag on there. Um, I don't know exactly how big it is. That's just how you determine how big you want the pole or the hole to be. I'm actually going to switch my bit out and make it a little bit bigger uh, just to be on the safe side. and It's not going to kill me or anything. I hope not at least. Um, I don't know how big my drill bit is. My drill set is, <clears throat> excuse me is really actually not the easiest thing to read. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna drill holes. Remember, safety goggles, but I've got glasses on, so I think I'm going to be okay. Um, so yeah, we got four safety goggles. That's right, I'm okay. I'm gonna go myself. Just help me start with something down a little bit. Oh, that's not holding something. Okay, so let me bring this pole up there. I got my holes drilled in. Uh, just nice clean holes um, wasn't the easiest thing to do you just what I did is I put both knees on there although like I said you can uh, why well, won't this focus like I said you can get someone else to hold it for you, you just have to hold it very steady start the drill out going nice and slow and uh, come on focus what's wrong with you uh, oh well you can you get the point it's a it's a hole in a copper pipe um, so yeah just make sure it's really steady do whatever you need to do to get it steady um, even and maybe you have a sawhorse with clamps that works, uh, and then just drill the holes through. Make sure you get them even. You know, don't have one hole like this and then the other one like that. That'd be a little weird. Um, so I've got one there and one there, and then it's a very short time to the end of the pole. But eh, whatever, I don't really care that much. Um, just as long as my flag gets to fly. Um, and yeah, the safety glasses is probably a good thing. There were some copper metal shavings kind of going around. Um, so if you don't wear glasses like me, then you might want to wear them. Just a small suggestion. Sorry about that. I had my camera or my phone sitting in the bed of my truck to record the drilling, and it's so hot out it just couldn't record. It just kept overheating. So basically, actually, what I had to do was drill the pre-tapped uh, bolts into my truck and then take them out, and that would make the hole. And then I had to take a drill bit and drill a hole into the hose clamps um, and then <clears throat> excuse me then I took the the watch or the sheet metal bolt and I put it through the hose clamp and then I put it onto the truck so they're on there right now you can't see because the tailgate actually or the tailgate net sorry actually my phone is sitting in my garage right now because they're shade and it won't overheat but basically all you have to do now is take your handy dandy flagpole Put it in there and if you have any troubles i mean just be creative about it do do whatever you need to make this work for you you know i'm trying to do a step by step as much as possible but if something goes wrong and you get confused don't don't freak out and be like oh he didn't show me this it's not gonna work or it's gonna break just i mean do what you do i mean none of the videos showed me that my uh uh i mean none of the you know, i just you know you just gotta be creative about so there, there are videos, I watched a lot of videos on how to do a lot of things. Um, and I like this because it's easy to just, you know, un unscrew the hose clamp and just, you know, really quickly take the pole out. And if you some, for some reason need to even take the hose clamps off, I mean, it's so easy. Um, it really is. It's like, it's just a small... Uh, Creates bit and you just unscrew it off of there. And... Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take my flag off of my other pole, my really crappy one. Um, 